everybody. I just want to do a quick review for those of you who may be in the market or at least considering getting a robotic vacuum cleaner. If you're like us, you looked at the Roomba and we felt that it might have been just a bit more expensive than we were, uh, than we were comfortable with. This was our first foray into the robotic cleaning market. So we didn't know quite what to expect and felt much more comfortable about a $200, $250 price point than uh, the higher price model. The higher price models, I can't really speak to. Uh, the Roomba, I'm sure it's a fine, uh, fine apparatus, but for us, we just needed something that would basically keep the floors neat and in maintenance mode throughout the week. And we have hardwood floors throughout the house, so it, it's done a great job for the last seven or eight months. Now, I'll show you, right now it's on its docking station. This is how it recharges. It doesn't have any external batteries that you have to change or anything like that. It's a rechargeable battery uses just your regular wall socket and I believe there's also a port here in the side I'm not sure if you can see where you can plug this cord directly in there if you want to but we don't because what you can do is tell uh, the the iLife robot to start cleaning 10 minutes after you work and then or after you head out for work it will clean and then when it senses its battery is low, it will come back to the, dock, the docking station and recharge, which is a, a neat feature. There are a couple different things that I'll show you here. Number one, this is the only area that you really have to deal with. This is where all the debris goes when you vacuum. It's got a little one-way flap here, so whatever comes in there. Uh, doesn't come back out and it's got a filter in the back and that's replaceable but we've not had to replace it we just knocked the dust out and um, that's been great <clears throat> all the all the debris you know that you sweep up comes in uh, this little port here and when you are ready to uh, get started you want to make sure that this is in place it also comes with a water tank uh, that looks very much like this. It has a port on the top that you can put water in and then this becomes a mop device rather than a vacuum, which is pretty cool. We've used it once uh, because we don't really mop hardwood, uh, but we do have some tile in the house that uh, we've used it on and it's worked pretty well. But functionally speaking, this is mainly just for sweeping in our house. Now, uh, underneath, you'll see how this works. These two uh, rotors will spin and they will sweep all the debris in its way into this receptacle. This has got some very soft um, uh, rubber here to sort of squeegee all of that stuff and force it in here. And the vacuum, the force of the vacuum comes, uh, you, can, you could feel it really strongly if it was on right now. This little swivel caster allows it to pivot. These are the main wheels. They're pretty chunky, they're rubberized, and they've got tracks on them, so they're sturdy and durable. This is uh, a Velcro uh, strip, but uh, this is a piece of, I think, just cotton or terry cloth that sticks on. It's never come off. Um, it adheres really well, but if you want every couple, you know, revolutions around your house. You can take this off, wash it under the sink, let it dry just like you would a hand towel or a, uh, a, a washcloth and then put it back on. Or you could throw it into the washer or dryer as well. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. It's ready to go. And I'm going to give you a little example of <clears throat> Okay, so I've got it set up here. I'm going to show you, I've got a couple dust bunnies in this room, back in this corner. I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but we're going to guide 
our little robot in that direction. He will find his own path, so I might guide him, but uh, the way to start this is you hit clean, just touch it gently, and then you hit it clean again, and he'll find his own way. Now, when he runs into a wall or sees something in front of him, typically he won't even run into it. Uh, he'll bounce off and he'll turn around. Again, he's quite robust, so it's not the kind of device that you feel is going to break or have a difficult time uh, if, if it gets bumped or knocked around or even tumbles down a step. Now, this is a really low area. I didn't intend, but you can see how often do you sweep under your TV console if you have a low one like ours and move this toy out of the way. See, he saw that toy and started to slow down. But, I mean, it's a fantastic device. It does everything that we need it to. And it's at a very reasonable price point of, you know, 200 to $250. Um, and, and we love it. We love it. So I'm just going to shut him down right now. And he's coming back home. And thank you for watching my review of the iLife robotic vacuum cleaner.